No, it isn't an SSD now. It's an SSD. Wow. Is this real enough for you? Welcome back to Tech City. This is Baranizy coming back to you guys today with a review of the Crucial MX100 256GB model. Uh, this is recent, uh, recently Crucial have released their value line of SSDs and wow, they come competitively priced out of the box. I mean, we're talking 128GB of SSD for $79, 256GB uh, for $109 and then 512GB for $224. This is recommended retail pricing as well. You'll probably be able to get them on a sale, maybe even cheaper in the future, I don't know. But wow, straight away for recommended retail pricing, very competitively priced. Now, these drives also, not to mention, I mean, they're value minded, but they still come packed with features. They've got trim, active garbage collection. They've also got low power state support as well. So if you're putting this in a laptop and I mean, SSDs already use low power as it is, but if you're really conscious and you want that most battery life in your note PC, then wow, this thing will go into low power mode and save even more power. So that's really cool that it comes with that. It also comes with data loss prevention as well, or power cut prevention. So if your power cuts, then this SSD will pretty much save the files and uh, basically before it shuts off, it'll make sure that data does not get corrupted. So that could potentially save you a lot of headaches as well. And that's what I had to remind myself, this whole review, I had to remind myself, wow, this thing costs $109. So anyway, let's have a look first off at the build quality of this SSD, and then we'll have a look at the packaging as well. And then we'll go on to the performance and the conclusion. So as soon as I got the product, I noticed that it came packaged very efficiently. It came packaged in a hard cardboard box uh, encased in plastic. Now in the box, you get a bracket and you also get a, an activation for some trial software as well. Uh, one thing to note though, it does not come with a 3.5 inch drive bay. So if you want to get one of them, then you can buy one of them for pretty cheap. Uh, however, most cases that I've had come through this year have uh, pretty much actually every case that I've had come through this year and last year has had support for a 2.5 inch drive bay. So that's not a problem as well, especially when we look at the, uh, the hard drive itself, uh, the SSD, sorry, itself. It comes with four mounting uh, screws on the top here and also four mounting screws on the side. So you'll be able to mount this. Basically, if your case has a 2.5 inch drive bay, you'll be able to mount this SSD no problems at all. Let's look at the build quality now. The front of the case comes here in, it comes encased in steel on the front of the case, also with an MX logo and minimal branding, very nice and subtle. That's exactly how I like the look of my products to be. And man, does this impress. I mean, it's got a nice silver finish all over the SSD. The back of the case here is actually plastic, which is, I mean, I don't, I'm not too big of a fan, but again, $109, I'm reminding myself here. Uh, and I also think a uh, crucial state that the back of the plate is also for thermal um, pro properties as well to keep things cooler. So I'll take their word for it as the whole build quality does feel really impressive. Looking at the connection points here, it does also, they are very sturdy. So, I mean, this whole thing, ultimately the build quality of this SSD feels pretty good. You could probably take a drop or a couple of drops and still work. Now, let's have a look at the performance of this drive. So the pretty much the first and only benchmark I use is AS SSD, especially when we're looking at value minded products, because this benchmark will give you a general easy to read numbers, especially if you're a gamer or if you're a desktop enthusiast, or if you're just a general everyday user as well. This benchmark will give you the scores that you need to know. So looking at the sequential read and writes, we can see here at 491.62 megabytes per second, this drive has really impressive uh, sequential read speeds. So when you're loading up those games, you're loading up those big files, this thing will load them up pretty much as quick as it gets. So for write speeds, 328 megabytes per second, impressive as well. I mean, this is a fast drive if you're writing files, transferring files, or in, in general, yeah, writing a two gigabyte file or writing in next to no time. So uh, looking at the 4K read and write speeds, very crucial speeds here, especially for everyday usage opening up your browser, browsing the web, uh, doing everyday tasks, this is where the SSD is going to shine, especially when we compare it to a hard disk drive, which I actually had to stop the benchmark on the hard disk drive because it would have taken half an hour 
just to do one slot of the 4K random reads. I managed to get through the writes, but then I said, no, I'm not waiting another hour to do this benchmark and finish it. So as you can see here, the SSD is pretty much 50 times faster than a standard hard disk drive. And that's why I stress for people always that if you've got a new rig or you're building a new PC, make sure you put an SSD in there because you will notice the difference in everyday usage. Things will load up a lot faster. Games will load up a lot, fa lot faster. Levels will load up a lot faster. Uh, browsing the web will be faster as well. Just little things that you don't think about, the SSD will save you time. Now, the 4K read and writes are also, when we compare it to other, S other SSDs, they're also among, I mean, they beat out the Intel, the Intel 240GB SSD, which was priced higher. This thing beat it, which was really impressive. Also, when we look at the 4K to 64 threaded speeds here, it impresses with 333 megabytes of sequential read and then also 233 megabytes on the right side. Now, another impressive thing about this drive is the access times, 0.05 milliseconds and 0.059 milliseconds. Wow, these are some of the fastest access times I've seen on an SSD. And then I had to remind myself, $109, Brian. Okay, so a score, all these tally together to give you a score of 959 points in ASSSD. One damn impressive score for $109. So with that being said, let's move on now to the conclusion. So in conclusion, I don't know what to say, $109. Uh, you guys have probably heard me say it so many times through the review, but wow, you're getting a lot of product for your money at this price. Uh, when we look at, say, for instance, the SSD Intel for 240 GB, uh, both of these products, I mean, they both come, this comes with a three-year warranty as well. This is priced at pretty much two-thirds of the price that this is, and it performs better. So I don't know what to say here. This drive gets a high recommendation from me. It's really good value for money. And as always, uh, people, I know you guys around here love to see value for money. And that's what the MX100 series of SSDs brings. It brings extremely good value for money. I can't help but uh, be nothing but impressed with this product. It hit all the areas that I want it to hit for $109 and yeah it just performed really well also one thing to mention before we go if you have a sand force controller uh, if you're using an ssd with a sand force controller and say you want to get one of these for a temporary drive if you're making videos or something like that or a temp dump drive and you need the fast speeds do not mix a marvel and a sand force together so this 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 the crucial here uses the marvel controller uh, this one uses the Intel, uses the Sand Force. And when basically when I had this as the primary boot drive, it wouldn't recognize the Crucial drive. And vice versa, when I had the Crucial drive as the main drive, it wouldn't recognize the Intel drive, uh, the Sand Force controller. And this was done on the Intel's um, onboard motherboard controller. So that's something to keep in mind. These two, these two do not play nice together. Uh, also, one thing to mention too before we go is that Crucial provided me with a mobile kit as well. This is a Crucial kit. So if you uh, want, to, if you want to use an SSD as mobile storage, then you can get one of these and you can plug it up into the USB. And you can just plug your hard drive up, uh, SSD up to this thing and put it into the USB port. And it'll make for one quick uh, accessible drive if you need to save time. So that's pretty cool as well. Uh, anyway, in, in conclusion, I will say, wow, impressive product for the money. If you guys need an SSD and you're looking for pretty much the best value for money, for, value for money SSD out there, then make sure you get yourself an MX100. I'm definitely going to be recommending these things in future budget builds as wow the performance was impressive and the build quality is impressive yeah it comes with just a heap of impressive features and a three-year warranty whoa what more can i want not much more so one of those impressive products for 2014 and wow so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions about this ssd please leave a comment in the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and if you haven't already subscribe to tech yes city and become a yes man today anyway i'm going to roll the outro and i'll peace, peace out for now and I'll catch you guys with another tech video very soon. Bye.